Rob the Frugalist here and this is how to fix a shower rail. Um, as you can see it's kind of failing there, it's a little bit of plastic, it obviously wasn't built to last but I'm going to try and make it last and uh, the way I'm going to approach this is with a bit of super glue. Uh, not straight across, I'm going to get an old piece of metal which I'm not using anymore and use it to brace it and glue it across there on both sides so uh, I'll hopefully this will work and uh, you'll see how I go about it. Everyone has um, bits of scrap metal somewhere in the house and if not they could probably fashion it. Now I'm not saying this will look great but it will allow us to have showers without fear of the world caving in on us. First thing I need is super glue. This is Gorilla Glue. I've never spent this much money on glue before um, and I used it to fix some trainers so it was worth it for that. I've got some left over. So I'm going to um, use that as the first easy bit. The next bit is a little bit more tricky, is finding a piece of metal to brace it up against. I think I've got something in the garage, so I'm going to have a look. Okay, I've looked everywhere. I don't have anything uh, except for this. Uh, this is a fixing, and if I can cut this in two where the corner is, I've got two sides which I can use to potentially brace it. So. Uh, I'm going to need to cut this. I don't really want to use an angle grinder because they are big and dangerous, tons of sparks um, and a little bit OTT and leave very sharp edges. So um, the yeah, angle grinder I use for some things but not for something as small as this. So I've got a junior hacksaw I'm going to have a go at. So uh, see how long this will take. This will probably take ages but it'll be worth it. Okay, I've got my flat pieces of metal here. Uh, you might be wondering why I didn't use the clamp earlier. Uh, so am I. I think it was because I didn't know, I didn't think I could get the right angle in, but it turns out I could, so saves a lot of hassle, made it faster by using the clamp. Uh, tools used, flat file and uh, junior hacksaw uh, for this. But uh, if you get a flat piece of metal, you won't need any of that. Okay, so we're going to use this contact adhesive, super glue, careful not to get it in your fingers, probably too late. Okay, and this side, that is possibly too much, there's plenty. Okay, so hopefully just stick this on here. It didn't work. There we go. Hold this for 10 seconds to a minute. The Gorilla Glue failed, but if you look at the top here, some screws, and they might just fit through here, which means I can reinforce this somewhat. So I'm going to have a go at that. So what I've managed to figure out is that this top bit, which was getting weak, was actually just clamping it to this middle bit and the middle bit had actually snapped in half. So I've just moved it along and put two screws back in. I'm going to put a third one there and then uh, tighten it down and that should actually be more robust than the original. That's the plan anyway, so let's have a look. So there you can see the fix, just needs tightening up. Hey, it's fixed. Pretty strong as well. I wouldn't hang on it. There we are. I hope that helps anyone. And the truth is, is that middle bit, that's the key. The top bit's going to help it um, stay. But So if you've got this problem, have a look for the bit of plastic that goes through and shift it along a bit and then retighten it. That's probably the key here, just in case you don't have a bit of metal with a fortunate slide through it there. I'm hoping that won't rust. It should be fine. Steel, I think. And for the record, uh, Gorilla Goo 
a little bit rubbish in this case. So that was a bit of an accidental victory there. I thought I was going to glue it on the sides and it turns out there was a plastic bit that went down the middle which had split. And just by moving that along a bit and then rebracing it with the metal bit which had just happened to fit, um, then it, was, it worked fine. Uh, now could I have reused that plastic bit at the top? Yeah, probably could have actually. It wasn't as damaged as I originally thought. I thought that was a broken bit. But in actuality it was the plastic bit that went through. Now, if you want to fix that more permanently because it will eventually go again but it'll give you a few extra years certainly uh, then you want to put something metal through there maybe which you can screw in to embrace it um, that's not too tricky to figure out but uh, yeah hopefully that helps someone with an emergency fix for their shower rail when it collapses uh, be it through a teenager accidentally leaning on it or it just through wear and tear it breaks Hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you next time.